Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the first of the month which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. This month is a little bit extra special. I hope you'll stick around to find out why, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As always, the first of the month means it is time for me to stop by with a new sheet load of cards, which is a free printable for subscribers to my channel. If you're new here and you don't know what sheet load of cards is, I'll tell you a little bit about it before we move on. Every month I stop by with the free two page printable and what I show you is a sketch and then some cutting diagrams to make the most of your pattern paper and cardstock to get a sheet load of cards. In the videos that come out on the first, which is today's video, I share a look at the sketch, talk a little bit about anything special about it, and I show you the first set that I make. Now at the end of this video, I will tell you how to download it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be back to share the process of how I made that first set and my team of collaborators will also be joining me with their first sets. I have collaboration team members here on YouTube, over on Instagram, and a couple on some blogs. Now they are all linked in that description box below if you wanna go ahead and subscribe and follow them so you're all ready to go for tomorrow. Before I share a look at this month's printable, I wanna tell you a little bit of the backstory. So most months I come up with my own sketch, whether it's just something I come up with out of my head or by cutting up papers, or sometimes I'll even go look on my old blog and see cards I like and if I can make them into a sheet load of cards. Well, this month was actually inspired by one of my collaboration team members. You might already be subscribed to Creative Chelsea here on YouTube. If you're not, I highly suggest it. But she shared a card a couple months ago. I think I first saw it on Instagram. It's up here on the screen now. And I just fell in love with it. And I thought, you know what? It might be a little bit more of a difficult sheet load of cards, but I think I could make it work. So I reached out to Chelsea to see if that would be okay with her. And I was thrilled when she said yes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this month's printable. You'll notice here that I have a special little section for Chelsea's logo and if you have the PDF file pulled up on screen, you can click on that URL and be taken to her website. Now I will have that link as well as of course her YouTube and Instagram accounts linked in the description box below if you're just using it here from the video. Just like every other month, this is a two page printable. On the first page is the sketch and supply list and on the second page are the cutting guides. This month's sheet load of cards, if you follow the supplies needed and the cutting guides, you're gonna get 10 cards using just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper, four pieces of solid colored cardstock, one sheet of vellum, and then your 10 card bases. Now, as always, if you enjoy the layout, but you don't need 10 cards, I give you the dimensions for a single card right here. I did already kind of give you the heads up, but there are some special things about this month that take a little extra work or a little extra explanation. So I've tried to put those here as kind of asterisks, but tomorrow I'll be back to go over more in depth about that. What those are, first of all, is this little piece here that zigzagged behind the circle or the focal point. It is actually like a paper ribbon. Now you don't have to use cardstock for that. I am going to on my first set. You could actually use ribbon if you wanted to on your card. 
Another thing that you might change is this is the first month where I have designated a piece of vellum. And that is for this circle right here. Chelsea used vellum on that original card and I just loved the way that it looked. So I went ahead and kept it for the sheet load sketch. But hey, if you do not have vellum, don't you don't need to run out and get it you can use something you have in your stash and maybe instead of doing like a die cut piece here where this flower is you could just stamp an image on that circle of cardstock and it would be just the same so use what you have here at the bottom i have given you some alternatives how you can change up the sketch some of them i have already mentioned but you can check those out and before i forget and move on to page two I always love to see what you have created. So up at the top, I have a couple hashtags and the first one changes each month based upon the month that it is where I can search here on YouTube and over on Instagram for those hashtags and see what you've been creating. Another thing that I forgot to point out is this month there is some tearing of paper. You'll look here and you'll see that this is kind of a jagged edge on both of these patterned papers. Again, I just love that on Chelsea's and then you got a little peek at the cardstock behind it. Page two has all of the cutting diagrams you'll need. It shows your 10 card bases, how to get your vellum circles out of one piece of eight and a half by 11 vellum. But hey, this is a great one to use up scraps of cardstock or scraps of vellum. You don't necessarily have to use a full sheet if you can die cut those from smaller pieces that you might have sitting around waiting to be used. Now here on CS1, it does call for three pieces, but you would actually get 12 if you cut four pieces out of each. So you can just stop after you get to 10. And then for the paper ribbon that I showed you on the front right here that you fold, you're actually going to cut strips of cardstock that are 11 inches wide by one half inch tall. And that would just be from a coordinating cardstock that matched your pattern paper. Now, speaking of pattern paper, you're going to cut 10 pieces from each one that are the same size, but you will want to make sure if you get started ahead of time before I come back with the process that on five of them, you tear off the right edge and then on the other five, you tear off the left edge. That way you can mix and match them back and forth on the front of the card. In just a few minutes, I will tell you how to download the file. But one thing I want to mention, because I get a lot of questions usually every month as new subscribers find me, is how do I find the old editions? Well, I do have a playlist linked in that description box below that includes the videos that come out on the first and the second. So what you could do is go through that playlist and find all of the debut videos from the first of the months, watch all of those and find out how to download that month's printable. Now, an easier way, although it does cost a little bit, is for $1.99 a month, you can join my channel membership and you have access to a visual archive of current and past sheet loads. So there's a thumbnail there and you can just click on the link below the one that you want and go and just download it right away instead of having to go back and find the video and then listen for how to download those. So I just wanted to point that out today in case you're interested. I have a link in that description box below that you can click on and find out more about the perks of membership. Before I show you the first set of cards I made, I want to show you the main products that I use for them. Here in front of me are the main supplies, but when I come back tomorrow with the process video, when I add any other products or tools, I do let you know in the voiceover. But for the main cards themselves, for the dies, I chose a couple sets from Spellbinders. I used a nesting circle set for the vellum circle on the card. And then to decorate that, I used some of these leaves. My sentiment is from Hero Arts and it has a die cut hello word and some little printed words that I stamped to go with it. So you could do them all the same sentiment or switch them up. 
I don't have it here in front of me, but I did use some craft cardstock for my card bases. And then I chose a couple different Gina K Designs colors to coordinate with my pattern papers. I have one piece of prickly pear and then three pieces of coral reef. I just thought that this would go well with some of the kind of orangish red colors in the floral pattern paper. Now, speaking of pattern papers, here are the two that I chose. These are from a fall hot buy pad from Michaels that I got a couple years ago. And I chose this floral and this wood grain to go with it. Are you ready to see that first set of cards? I hope you enjoyed that close-up look at the cards. You'll notice I did do a little cluster of leaves on my focal point, and tomorrow I have kind of a trick that would help you keep these all uniform. And also for that piece that's folded in the back, I have another trick for you. So if you want to wait to get started, you might want to wait until tomorrow's process video. Now I'm going to tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Now we do just go on the honor system here. Please make sure if you're gonna go click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, that you are already subscribed to my channel. It's a quick little button right underneath this video that you can click on and it's completely free for you. The link for this month's file is in my description box below, right above my PO address. You can click on it and open it and use it on screen, or you can download it to your device and print it out. That is up to you. Also, you can print in color like I've had, or it will also work in black and white. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow with the process video with some extra tips, and my team of collaborators will also be joining me. If you are excited to get started on this month's sheet load of cards, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Until my next one, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.